In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray before the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Dear Father in heaven, who are come today, we are in so much need of you present in this moment. Protect your holy church, our Holy Father, our pastor, or priest around the world. Please protect the protection of us against the wrong that is coming for, for us in our way. Lord, let us to be attended when you speak to us. Jesus, we ask you to send your own Mother Mary, all the angels and all the saints to protect us from all evil. In your mercy, Lord, heal all the sick who are in the hospital. Protect all the homeless, cover them with your unfailing love. Then employ that they will find work to support their family. Give wisdom to the children that they may follow your footsteps. Give them joy and peace, grace, mercy, forgiveness, and guidance, and love in their, in their hearts. Open the doors of heaven to free all souls from purgatory, in particular the soul of our loved ones and of all our friends. We ask this in Jesus' name. You expire, O Jesus, but the source of life gush forth for soul, and a notion of mercy open up for the whole world, O fountain life and fountain of divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the hearts of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. <coughs> And Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of you, dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of sorrow, for passion, 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 for the sake of sorrow, for passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood 
solemn divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in a talk our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. There I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of soul, for passion. <coughs> For the sake of sorrowful passion. 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 
eternal Father, I hope, Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, I trust in you. Divine Mercy Chaplet. The love of God is flower, mercy is the fruit. Let the doubting soul read this consideration on a divine mercy and become trusting. Divine mercy gush forth from the bosom of the Father. Divine mercy, great attribute of God. Divine mercy, comprehensible mystery. Divine mercy found gush forth from the mystery of the Blessed Trinity. Divine mercy unfathomed by any intellect, human or angelic. Divine mercy from which well forth all life and happiness. Divine mercy better than the heavens. Divine mercy source of miracle and wonders. Divine mercy encompassing the whole universe. Divine mercy descended to earth in the person of the incarnate world. Divine mercy which flowed out from the open wounds of the hearts of Jesus. Divine mercy enclosing the heart of Jesus for us and especially for sinners. Divine mercy and fundament in the institution of the sacred host. Divine mercy in the fund of the Holy Church. Divine mercy in the sacred sacrament of the Holy Baptism. Divine mercy in justification through Jesus Christ. Divine mercy accompany us through our whole life. <coughs> Divine mercy embrace us as patriots at the hour of our death. Divine mercy endow us with immortal life. Divine mercy accompany us at the very moment of our life. Divine mercy shielding us from the fires of hell. Divine mercy in the conversion of heart and its sinners. Divine mercy astonishment for angels incomprehensible to saints. Divine mercy and fundament know the mystery of God. Divine mercy lift us out of every misery. Divine mercy source of happiness and joy. Divine mercy in calling us forth from nothingness to existence. Divine mercy embrace all the world of his hands. <coughs> Divine mercy crown of our <coughs> Divine mercy crown of all of God's end works. Divine mercy in which we are all immersed. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts. Divine mercy on the hope of despairing souls. <coughs> Divine mercy, repose of hearts, peace amidst fear. Divine mercy, delight and ecstasy, ecstasy of holy souls. <coughs> Divine mercy inspire hope against all hope. Let us pray. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasure of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in the difficult moment we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. Amen. O oh, incomprehensible, O oh, limiters divine, mercy divine, to extol and adore you worthily, who can? Supreme attribute of Almighty God, you are the sweet hope for sinful men. 
Semai può be archangel, defender us in battle, be a protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into our Satan and all the evil spirit who are run throughout the world, seek the ruins of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Once again, a special welcome to our live-streamed audience. We are here today to pray and to offer up our petitions, but also your petitions as well, whatever is in your heart today. Last weekend, we celebrated Good Shepherd Sunday, a God who cares and who is aware of every concern, every pain that we experience. Let us remember in a very special way, today, the 13-year-old who passed away from COVID, let us ask Almighty God to comfort her family and to give them strength in this time of sadness, but also many others who are suffering from this dreaded disease. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year that they met with the church and taught a great many people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response will be, all you nations praise the Lord. All you all nations, nations praise the Lord. Lord. On the holy mount stands the city the Lord founded. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. Among those who know me, I mention Rahab and Babylon, Philistia too, and Tyre, with Ethiopia. This one was born there, they say, and of Zion it shall be said. This one and that one were born in it, for the Most High himself will establish it. All your nations, praise the Lord. The Lord records as he registers the people. This one was born there. Singers and dancers alike say, All my springs are in you. All you nations praise the Lord.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. The Gospel reading today continues along the line of Jesus' identity as the Good Shepherd, but he adds a little bit more to that theme here where he says here that the sheep listen to his voice. Do we listen to the voice of Almighty God as he speaks to us in his heart? Are we aware of God speaking to us each day, giving us direction, giving us hope and counsel? Yesterday we celebrated the feast of Our Lady of Good Counsel, that we all need good counsel. We need proper advice in all our affairs because we are faced almost on a daily basis with the different decisions that we have to make in terms of our personal lives and in terms of the lives of those who look up to us for guidance. So today, as we read of Jesus speaking to us in the depths of our hearts, let us all pray for good counsel in our lives, that God will guide us and not only guide us, but that we will be willing to listen to him because we live in a world with a lot of noise and sometimes it's hard to distinguish which voice is the voice of God. All these voices crying out to us for attention, but which one is it that really is the voice of Jesus? And sometimes it's the, it's the quietest voice, the one that is hardest to hear and distinguish that is the, is the voice of God speaking to us. So we pray for the gift of discernment and we pray for the willingness to listen and follow where Jesus, the Good Shepherd, leads us. Amen. Please stand as we pray. Once again, we offer up our prayers today for families that have been impacted by the COVID virus. Many families are suffering. Sometimes parents have contracted the disease or children. We ask God to give them comfort and hope and we pray for a speedy recovery for those who are ill. We pray to the Lord. We continue to ask God to protect us from harm, to protect our homes and our families, that they may be havens of peace and security. We pray to the Lord. We thank God for our parishioners, members of this parish community, who have become discouraged by the present man. We pray that God will give them courage to hold on and to open their hearts to the voice of Jesus as he speaks to them. We pray to the Lord. And for those who have died, that God will grant them the gift of eternal life. We pray to the Lord. We praise and thank you, Lord, as we gather in your name. Fill us with your presence and guide us with your Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord, we pray. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may it become for us the bread of life. Lord, by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ. 
who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of divine and work of human hands may become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Almighty God. But in this time, above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb one slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.